the EU wants to slash the installation costs by tens of billions of euros. Well, joining us to discuss it is Gunnar Hockmark. He is the shadow rapporteur of the measure in the European Parliament and you're a member of the EPP group. Mr. Hockmark, let's talk about the problem first. What's been holding up this internet expansion up to now? Very often, lack of competition. Very often, lack of competition. So we need to sort that out. And then we need also to secure that we get rid of a lot of red tape bureaucracy and well, hindrances. Specifically, what kind of red tape? Well, are you it sometimes about? takes time in order to um, make uh, investments in, in uh, all the things that you need for having either mobile broadband uh, using the spectrum or if you are putting the fibers in the uh, in the land. Uh, you need to do a lot of things and uh, you need to be pragmatic and you need to secure that local authorities are acting rapidly. How much is this going to save and how much will it cut costs for consumers and businesses? I don't know. I don't. My, my simple view is that we shall do things as simple and pragmatic as possible and I think that also lies in the heart of competition. Uh, then we can count in different ways. Commission is calculating that we can save uh, I think 60 billion uh, euros. That's very much and maybe a hopeful calculation but anyway I don't think that's a problem. We should do it anyway. The EU's digital agenda wants all Europeans to have broadband internet by 2020. That is internet with at least 30 megabytes a second. How realistic is that? Well, it is in some way too realistic. I have said that those charges are old-fashioned, they're old times, because that is in the reality in many of our member states already today. 2020, we will need far higher speeds and capacity, and that's why I have been pushing for higher targets and uh, tougher criteria, because otherwise we will not be number two, not number three, we'll be number four, number five. So I think we need to shape up and also sharpen the targets to make Europe more competitive? To make Europe more competitive, you need to talk about gigabytes instead of megabytes. Uh, that sounds very technical for most people, and it is. But it means that we shall be better. Mr. Hockmark, thank you very much. Thank you very much.